We're ready to shoot a music video. Ethan, you're fired. There's a new Green Ranger in town. So this is day one of the music video shoot. Carla and I are just about to get on our makeup so that we can head up to our first location, which is the bridge. Says Tommy, wear makeup. I did not know this. He's going through a puberty phase. <laughs> he's got acne going, so he's gonna put on some makeup. Secret behind the scenes note. I had to have him shave for this shoot. He had a beard going, and so we were like, yeah, Tommy needs to shave the beard. <laughs> I'm about to do my Rita makeup. I kind of started my eyeliner, but I have to eyeline my eyes a lot more to be Rita and have glittery green going on. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. This song is a parody where we use the same melody as Surface Pressure from the movie Encanto. With that, we had to change up the lyrics to match the Power Rangers. And guess who wrote them? That's my sister. Hey yo. She did a great job. So the song was originally sung by the character Luisa Madrigal. And she sings a lot about how difficult it is sort of dealing with the pressure of her family. And I wanted to sort I of channel. I wonder what that's like. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to channel that same sort of mood, but in a way that fit the Power Rangers. I'm so short. Just to use Mara's mirror, I have to be in my tiptoes. <laughs> Hiking up to the bridge, we'll go and shoot a bridge scene with Ray and Tommy. It's gonna be epic. We are also going to get some really cool drone shots. We see the bridge up ahead, so we just gotta hike up there. Meanwhile, take a look at this really cool tree. <laughs> Those pathetic fools are going the long way. Team Rita knows no rules. I will go over the sign. I will beat them. So we made it up to the suspension bridge and we're about to block out some fight choreography between me and Rita. We'll have that with the drone shots. I am ready. We're ready to shoot a music video. Under the helmet, sometimes I wonder if Rita really loves me or I'm just a puppet. Under the helmet, could it be anyone or was I the only kid who could have done it? Under the helmet, I'm pretty sure I'm worthless and that I don't deserve this. What are you doing, E? Sitting on a rock over nothing. Is it scary? A little bit. Pull my butt, muscle. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> okay, be careful, bud. I'm scared to death for you. I know. Careful, Sean. We've officially filmed the first shot of our music video. Today is day two of shooting. Right now, we are actually not on our way to the place we're gonna be shooting. We're on our way to the doctor. I've been wearing this big, crazy bionic leg brace for quite some time now, and I'm gonna be getting fitted for a new brace. We're gonna be able to get to talk with the orthopedic surgeon about if I'm in the clear to go ahead and do fight scenes. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about with my knee, just check out my knee injury video because it's the worst injury I've ever had. I just have to make sure I don't accidentally twist the wrong way to possibly pop my kneecap back out of the socket. But so far, everything's feeling pretty good. So I just got fitted for the new brace. It fits pretty well. It's a little bit tight and a little bit uncomfy because like the stitching like kind of scratches in my skin a little bit. But they said I could put like a bandage underneath that to make it more comfortable. But the doc said I'm in the clear to do some fight scenes as long as I have something to hold my knee. And unfortunately, the brace that I got fitted for won't really work in the fight scenes because it'll be too obvious. So we're thinking we might have someone like my physical therapist kind of wrap it in like some sort of KT band or some sort of tape to help keep it at least stabilized without showing in the video of the fight scene. But the rest of today is actually gonna be shooting a really fun part of the music video in a studio that we have rented time to use. So I'm working on making the putties for today's shoot. We settled on this one right here, this shattered looking one. And I am having our dear poor mother be our putty model as I draw on her face. <laughs> Ow! What, what happened? I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> what if it doesn't come off? Like if it goes through the fabric onto my face? It may be a possibility. No. <laughs> hey guys, this is the behind the scenes. Behind the cheese. <laughs> so you can see we got a green screen behind us up because we are going to be filming a scene where people sitting on the couch are gonna be in slow motion. We're gonna have Ethan walking behind in regular speed. We are at Carla's house, AKA Rita, to let us shoot here and have popcorn and cheese. <laughs> and we're just waiting for everybody else to come and we're gonna get this show on the road. <laughs> This is Rita's puppy. He will destroy Goldar. Okay. All right, ready? <laughs> How's the popcorn? Good. I haven't had it yet, but I assume it's good. What is red and bad for your teeth? You'll never guess it. Fruit punch. What? A brick. <laughs> That's real. <laughs> what are you doing? I am setting up, knocking down the set. <laughs> we are currently at the studio that we've rented time to use. We just had to move a couple things out of the way. We picked this black background to use. We have these little boxes and these candles that we're gonna set up for a super cool dramatic scene. One of my favorite parts about this setup is this thing. 
Touch me whole. Read us brand new stack. It is beautiful and powerful. Yes, we look up. See you on James Cut. Rita whispers in my ear that she's all I've got. Whoa. Rangers on the other side saying that she's not. Oh, oh, oh. What's the hardest thing about shooting this? Stuff? Actually, I have everything easy because I don't say much. Or I even... have to lip sync at all and I have to make sure I'm focusing. It's a lot to think about. Should we get a shot of me looking like I'm crying, like holding my helmet? Like, <laughs> Ooh, definitely. What do you do when you have downtime on the set? I'd be goofy and solve my Rubik's Cube. What does goofy look like? Like that. We are here, ironically, at the same tunnel, which was the first appearance of Goldar. And as most of you guys know, I play Goldar. I know you all think that I am evil in real life, but I'm not. I do not have real gold in my face. See? Just makeup. Do not be afraid. <laughs> I have a shredded chicken salad. It's delicious. How did the evil Rita eat her food? With two knives. Doesn't everyone else eat like this? What's on docket for dinner? I don't know what this is, but a big boy's gotta eat. So anytime you're doing fight choreography, the first thing that you want to look for is the space. There's a curvature to the ceiling. I automatically think rounded tricks goes with the way that it looks. So like you saw Ethan back there just did a spin hook kick. The second thing is the ability of the actor. So like I know that Ethan is, is good at kicking. Everybody knows that. We could do some more fun things in that, right? The third thing, how does Power Rangers work? Things that have been done in the show. How does Tommy fight in the show? And so if you're an old school Mighty Morphin Power Rangers fan like I am, you'll see some of the same moves in the choreography for this video. Video. Those are all the things to consider when you're choreographing a fight scene. We're actually shooting at a cycle park, so there's huh? cyclists coming and going like every five seconds, so we gotta be careful. And we're gonna round kick at the same time, then boom, breakfast. Rita, all my friends, candle burning apple fens, like sweat the wax descends, like sweat the wax descends. Hey Ethan, you're fired. There's a new Green Ranger in town. But she'd never consider she's bitter. James Cut. It's gray, I'm under here. I was a putty in the last one, and Ethan is going to also be a putty in this scene. I don't know, last love. It's great. It's been super fun and cute to see them, and they're again looking older. The hardest thing about writing the script for Encanto was trying to make sure it was cohesive with Power Rangers lore and Ninja Kids lore. The most fun thing about directing and shooting this music video is working with Ethan, because he's a blast and he's so funny and we get along so good and we make good jokes together. Yeah! I think the most interesting thing is getting to work on my singing. It's been really difficult, but singing has been something I've actually been practicing and having fun with a lot lately. I like that I actually really get to showcase that in some form. And I really hope I get to do another music video, especially with like an original. I have some originals written down. Hopefully we can play around with those two in the future. We're about to record I'm at my friend Ben's house. He's professional in this, so we hired him to record the lyrics. This is Ben. You might recognize him in one of my videos. He played the guitar and he's really good. If you haven't seen that, make sure you go check it out. I fight villains, I fight traitors. That's not the beginning of the song. That's not the beginning of the song. Whoops, I... No, it's I'm the savior. Bloody so rangers, no matter the dangers. I smash and destroy him, no mercy, no toying. But be screaming in my face, what I gotta be? Whoa. Rangers standing at my back, trying to reach out to me. Whoa, oh, oh. Tell me you're the key to this whole endeavor. How are you for, oh, are you against the hood? I can't up inside